eBay Cassini, the algorithm's 15 secrets. In this video, I will show you 15 tips and secrets of eBay's search algorithm, eBay Cassini and eBay SEO that I learned from my over 10 years of experience of selling on eBay. Hello everybody! As I said, in this video you will know everything that you need to know to promote your listings as much as possible on eBay's search algorithm. So the first thing that I want to say on this video before we go to the 15 tips that I created for you is that eBay's search algorithm is actually a hidden mon monster. Nobody really knows how does this algorithm works, only maybe the developers of eBay. So we need to understand that this is a secret algorithm and everything that I will tell and that I will say on this video is from my experience of over 10 years of researching and checking many different strategies. So first let's understand what is eBay's search algorithm. The search algorithm, the eBay Cassini, is what shows your listings on the search results. It means that if you uploaded a listing to eBay, you listed a new product to eBay, this algorithm, the eBay Cassini, will decide where you will be shown on the search results. So the first tip that I want to give you and the first thing and one of the most important things is this, the prices. So I know that it's hard for us as sellers or dropshippers to uh, get low prices because actually it depends on the product and on our suppliers. But you always can list your product with a very very cheap prices. And only when you got your first sale, and soon you will understand why it's important, you can start and increase your uh, price step by step. Now for this you can use manually, you can do this uh, action manually, or you can use automatic systems like autodias.com for example. The second thing here, and this why uh, I also explained about this in the previous side, slide is the sold history. One of the most important criteria for our eBay listings is how many sales it's already got. As, ma as many sales we will get, we will be promoted more on eBay's Cassini. And you can just check it. You can go to eBay.com, write any product, any title, and you will see that the first listings will always have sales history. So this one is very important. First, try to get some sales history and only then increase prices because this is critical. Actually, personally, I would even say that almost never remove products with sold history. Always try to improve them, maybe replace them with a little bit different products that you still think that can sell for you because if you already got this sales history, it's always better to improve this listing instead of remove it. So this was my second tip about eBay's Cassini search algorithm. The next thing is the title. The title is one of the most critical things here, as on, same as on Google and in any other searches uh, algorithm. And the title should be really relevant to your product. In eBay, it's really recommended to put there up to 80 characters, which is the maximum. Always try to fill as much as possible characters in your title. And always put their keywords which will describe your product on the best way. It means that if you sell, for example, a table, try to put there the color of the table, uh, the type of the table, and as many things as possible because this is what your buyers will see when they search your product. This is what eBay's Cassini will see on your keywords and will show your listing according to these keywords. So this is something which is really important. Put there as many keywords as possible, but remember that it should be something that humans can read. So don't just throw their keywords without any meaning. Try to put it something which is really understandable. The fourth thing is the images. Images is something which, we, which can increase your CTR and I will explain on the next slide what is this and why it's so important. But in general, this is how many people will click on your product. It will uh, show your customers what they will buy and what I recommend you to do about images that eBay Cassini really likes is to make them as unique as possible. So if you have your own products, uh, take photos of these uh, products, make this professional, make it look as much as possible, as, as better as possible and as good as possible. If you don't have your own products, for example, you're doing dropshipping, 
just try to put their watermarks which systems can do for you automatically for example AutoDS put their collage you can with one click create collage in many different platforms so try to combine many pictures together and make something which is interesting for your customers this way you will look different from other sellers eBay Cassini will like it and your customers will also like it the next thing here is that the number of pictures is really 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 effects so when you uh, list uh, images try to put as many images as possible as many images that describes your product on the best way think about you as a buyer as a customer you always want to see your product from many different positions and many different pictures not only this if you have images in your description always try to put keywords on the images alt tag AutoDS does it for you automatically but if you use any other uh, tool or you're working with eBay directly just on the alt tag on the images uh, HTML put keywords it will also promote you on Google and on eBay CTR plus the conversion rate this one is one of the most important things here because all what we talked about before like images and titles affects this one CTR is the conversion rate so when someone finds you on eBay's search algorithm on eBay's results they uh, and when they click it it means that your conversion rate, rate will be increased so as many clicks you get from the total amount of searches of your product from the total amount of uh, pages where your product was viewed and showed it's better for eBay so eBay sh see that your title is good that the image is good and that you really bring people inside your product but don't mislead your buyers always remember to put keywords titles and images that really 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 describes your product don't just put there a I don't know maybe a red a background or something like this just to get more clicks it will not help so we need to get more clicks but without black hat ways and without methods like this that I described always try to make your listings that if someone going into the, the listing they will really buy it eBay likes when the conversion rate is high and the CTR is high CTR is again click through rate so a lot of people will click on your listing and the conversion is that a lot of people will buy as much these two uh, uh, criteria are higher more people will uh, eBay will promote you more shipping and handling so uh, this is something which is really for us as dropshippers for example to make always try to put as lower handling time as possible and uh, as lower shipping time as possible when these two parameters are lower you will be promoted more over your competitors because maybe your competitors are lazy or they don't have time so they put higher handling time for example four days just so they can have few more days to process the orders you always should try to put the lowest handling time so you will be promoted more on eBay's casino about shipping price if you have shipping price always add it as a price of the product eBay likes when uh, you show to your customers free shipping they don't like when you try to trick your customers and add it as a, an additional cost it's always bad for the, your uh, search results and search ranking so always use free shipping low uh, shipping time as much as possible again don't mislead, uh, mislead your buyers it's bad for your uh, eBay account for the long term if you're selling from China so put enough shipping time if you're selling from the United States with two-day shipping so put as much as uh, as less as possible shipping time store activity plus customer service these two are very important uh, and this is something that a lot of people are missing so I know that you're busy and I know that maybe it's not your main business but think about a regular store regular stores always have activity always new products are coming always uh, they remove products from their stocks things are always changing same should be on your eBay store so what I recommend you to do first always make daily uploads every day your store should get new products every day your workers your customer uh, support should work your uh, people who upload products for you or maybe if it's still you so you should do this every day it's really 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 important the second th thing here is the customer service 
Try to initialize communication with your buyers. Don't only wait for them to send your messages. If someone bought something from you, send them automatic message or send them manually message that congrats them for uh, their purchase and start a conversation with them. It's very important and you will see that it will do a huge difference for your account. Fast response rate for prepaid and postpaid messages. It doesn't matter if your customer still didn't uh, buy from you or already bought and paid for you and even maybe they just send you thank you. Always respond to their messages. Always try to respond as fast as possible because this is something that eBay really, really, really like and always promote that they like a good customer experience and customer service. So always try to initialize uh, communication with your buyers and answer their messages as fast as possible and in the best way and the most professional way that you can do. The newly listed. I don't know who of you know or not, but when you list a product on eBay, you first will see newly listed tag on these listings. This tag promotes you much more over your competition because eBay always want to give you opportunity to get some sales history as we talked before and to show your product to customers. So if within uh, the first hours of the listing you will maximize your sales and you will use this newly listed, you can promote your listing really fast and get more sales history. So how to use this feature to take advantage over your competitors? You need to understand that the time when most of the buyers this is the average maybe for some niches it's different or for some specific products it's different but the general time when most of the people are buying and this is from our statistic in AutoDS is 6 p.m. so always try to list your products around 6 p.m. even one hour before so uh, you will be promoted more and more people will see you at this time because this is the time when most of the activity on eBay and most of the people are buying on eBay. Again, this is from my experience and from, my, from our statistics in AutoDS. The next thing here is the seller level and quality. eBay promotes you not only by uh, the parameters of the products that you listed, but also by the uh, seller activity and quality. It means that you need always to update tracking numbers on time or in general some people are just uh, don't update tracking numbers which is really, really bad for their accounts you need to have low uh, late shipment rate it means that you need always to send the products on time and you need to have low defects rate when i say low defects rate i'm talking about uh, customer support and customer uh, cases if someone opens a case about you try to respond as soon as possible even if you have more days you should respond them as fast as possible and if you don't respond at all it's very 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 terrible and it's very bad for your account so never close never give to ebay close cases without your response and always try to respond as soon as possible and as, as fast as possible the number of item specifics this is something that is also really affects your ebay uh, listings Cassini uh, looks at some things there and eBay in general. The first one is that if you have more item specifics, it means that you spend more time on your eBay listing. eBay likes when you work on your listings and you not just throw them uh, there without uh, knowing what you do. So uh, as many item specifics as possible, it's great for li your listings. This is why we spent a lot of time in AutoDS to develop a feature that will uh, copy item specifics from your competitors and will copy it from your suppliers automatically. The next thing here is that more keywords in your listing. When you put more item specifics, you will have more keywords. This is the place where you can put these keywords. You have only the title, the description and the keywords. So this one is the one of the most important and you should put there as many keywords as possible, as many things that describes your product as possible because not only for uh, the search results, it will also help in one another very interesting thing, which is the eBay's filters. If you go to eBay, you, you have the filters, right? So these filters are uh, searching by one of the things there is by the item specifics. So you want to help eBay 
uh, show you on these results from the filters and this why I always recommend you to spend time and improve your item specifics as much as possible. The 13, 14 and 15 I put all of them together because they are uh, from the same niche and working together. Make sure that your listings are mobile friendly. A huge percent of uh, buyers are buying from mobile phones. This is where we spend all of our time during the day and this became our new computers. So make your listings mobile friendly. Make sure that your templates are mobile friendly. The next thing and the 14th thing, 14th is uh, the loading speed. You want to use templates that are loading fast. You may don't want your buyer to wait a lot of time until the listing will uh, uh, up for them on their browser. So I don't recommend you to use very heavy templates with a lot of images and photos. Always use maximum one image in your description and very low uh, templates, not something heavy something which is low weight template don't use heavy templates that uh, their uh, weight is a lot of kilobytes or bytes this is something which is bad for your listings the next thing is images seo in the description if you have the one main image that i said uh, that you can add to your listings so in this image put under the alt tag under the html there some keywords which will also promote your uh, image in Google and on eBay. I hope that you like this video. For any question, I will be really, really, really happy to answer you for anything that you want to ask me. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like this video and leave a comment of what you think about this video and, and which videos would you like me to do more for you. See you on the next videos. Bye bye.